From the heartland of America to every nation on Earth, this is Jack Van Empe Presents The Truth in News and Commentary. Here now are doctors Jack and Rexella Van Empe. Hello and welcome to Jack Van Empe Presents. Can you believe that we are actually into a new year. Erin, one of our camera uh, people, or my camera girl over here, we've got many camera guys, but I said to her, can you believe this is actually a new year and we're into it? Well, she agreed. It's awfully fast that a year does go by. But uh, we're entering into the new year and I've noticed something. Wherever I go, whether it's to buy of food at the market or whether I'm shopping somewhere or other things or even at the doctor's office when I'm waiting for Jack. How often people come up and they ask questions and uh, some of them are very good. It's good to to really understand that people are open. They want to know the answers to things going on in their minds and one question that we get is once I'm saved am I always saved. And I shall never forget my brother, Dr. Robert Shelton, going with my dad to visit a gentleman who was dying as an alcoholic. Now he wasn't young. He'd been living an alcoholic all those years. And my brother was trying to lead him to the Lord. And he said, oh, Bob, once saved, always saved. When I accepted the Lord as a child, once saved, always saved. Is that true? Once you accept the Lord, does that last? I'm going to ask Jack that. Once saved, always saved, Jack, no matter how you live? Absolutely not. And I'm telling you, I'm going to become a Bible teacher, and I'm going to shake you with what's in this book. I've got 10,385 verses, all marked where they can be found and you're going to know where you stand. I'm going to ask God that a thousand of these copies get out as soon as possible because you're going to get the meat of the word. I've been an evangelist till this time. Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature, Mark 16, 15, and I've preached to millions and got them saved. Now, I'm going to go into Matthew 28, 19, go ye therefore and teach, teach, all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Now, here's what happens when you get saved. John 3, 16, God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. But there's some big things there you have to consider. What? If any man be in Christ, he is a new creation. All things are passed away. All things have become new, and some of you live like hell. And you go to all the dirty f movies, and you go to every rotten place there is, and you live in sin, and you're saved forever. No! The Bible teaches something I want you to learn. What? When you are really saved, you're changed. But when you begin to slip in sin, God says, I will chastise you. And if you're not chastised when you're living in your sin, you didn't really get saved. You went through the motions. And he says in Hebrews 12, you are a bastard. What? That's swear. No, it isn't. A bastard is one who really doesn't have the father who claims him. And you don't have the Jesus who really saved you. He can do it and hold you forever. But when you sin, if that doesn't happen, you're unsaved. He's not your God. And you'd better start getting into that because I'm going to tell you some things. We've got almost 900 denominations now, all different things. Jesus only, uh, Jehovah Witnesses, uh, the Holy Spirit's everything, speaking in tongues. I'm going to correct all 900 in the next year. What you really teach, and if you really got it, I'm going to give it everything I've got till my last breath. Amen. Amen. Jack, we'll talk about that just a little bit later, too. But uh, another question that has been asked to me. 
Can the blood of Jesus really cleanse anything? I haven't lived for the Lord. In fact, um, a woman who was a prostitute. Can I be forgiven? Well, you know, uh, I'm so happy that the Bible answers that definitely. And is Jesus the only one who can forgive anything? Sometimes we go to church and we kind of confess uh, uh, maybe to somebody what we've done and we feel a little better about it. But they can't forgive you. They can only listen to you. But does Jesus listen and forgive? Jack, how about that? Can the blood of Jesus cleanse from all sin? And is he the only one who can cleanse? Well, 211 times the blood of Jesus Christ, God's Son, cleanses from all sin. When you start practicing your sin again, you are in trouble. He that sinneth shall die. All you get is eternal life. And it's for real that you'll live forever if you live it. But if there's no evidence of your salvation and you're living in all your filthy sin and prostitution and all the rest, you're not going to see God. You went through the motions, but you didn't really get Christ. Oh, Jack, how wonderful that the blood of Christ cleanses from oh, all. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and cleanses from all unrighteousness. We've got to confess and say, I'm going to live for you. Amen. That's for sure. We're living in a very strange day today, Jack. People are sort of going their own way. They're not reading their Bible. I asked a girl the other day, uh, have you been reading your Bible? I've never read the Bible you believe it? I've never read the Bible. You know, from a little girl, my mom started reading the Bible to me. And then I love to read the Bible. In fact, in about the third grade, I asked my teacher, can I have just uh, 10 minutes once a week to read the Bible to my class? <laughs> well, you know, we need to be reading the Bible, don't we? Because it answers every single question. Another question, and whoa, oh, Jack's an authority on this one because he Let loves... Let me answer that one first, Rex. Oh, okay, Ella. sure. Thy word have I hidden in my heart that I might not sin against you. And you are clean through the word. Jack Vanipi has memorized this book. And then I went through it 100 times in my lifetime so far by memory, making sure I knew my verses. And when I did that, I was the cleanest man there was. If I ever slipped for a while, I started slipping. Well, I'm human too. So stay tuned to God through the book, and you're going to make it. But if you don't, you can lose it. Not because he can't hold you, but because you don't deserve your salvation when you're living in the pig holes of hell. Mm. You know, Jake, when you were talking about chastisement, I couldn't help but think that uh, that's a righteous thing, actually. When you have a child and they do wrong, you want to draw their attention to what they've done, so you chastise them. And that's what God does. He draws our attention to the fact that we've done wrong. He'll chastise us one way or another. Our eyes can be open and come back to him. How wonderful that is. Well, could Jesus come at any moment? I've been asked that I don't know how many times. Is it time for the Lord to come back? He said he was going to come back. Is it time for him to come back? Jack, you are an authority on prophecy. In fact, uh, that I heard Jack Van Impey speak on the coming war with Russia the first time I ever heard him speak. Prophecy. Could Jesus come at any moment? I love this, Rixa. I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, be dead, but we shall all be changed in a moment in the twinkling of an eye at the last trumpet. For the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we the living shall be saved. For this corruptible that goes back to dust and ashes comes back to life. And the others 
go straight up to heaven before dying. And I'm telling you, if, and I said it last week, if you live in this book and Jesus comes tonight and you're really saved, you're not even going to die the first time. World War III is going to be on. Blood's going to flow. 200 million are going to die. There's going to be a river of blood flowing to the bridles of the horses. But you'll be gone. Why? He says, come up hither. And we're gone in 11 hundredths of a second and miss all of that seven-year battle. All the bloodshed, all the heartache, all the tears. And then we come back with Christ. Seven years later, we've just received all of our wars. There's the runner's crown, the shepherd's crown, the soul winner's crown, the sufferer's crown, and the crown of life, eternal life, if you have lived it. And now he comes back. Oh, boy, oh, boy. It's going to be a time like you've never known. And I've said it last week. I say it again. All who get saved, if you're saved right now and you're still alive, you will never die the first or the second time. What a deal! When I pray today, you better say the prayer because you can live forever and never experience even a grave. What? Yeah, he says, when that happens and we go up, you have no more worries. It's finished. Yeah, amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. The rapture, we'll talk about that probably a little bit more later. But I want to say this is our uh, the final offer for this. And that's the Jack Van Impey Prophecy Bible. I love this offer. And if you haven't gotten one of these Bibles, you need to make the call. Stand behind us. Get the Bible. Because I'm going to fulfill what God tells me to do on the second thing. I've been the preacher of evangelism, winning souls. Now he says, teach all nations. Teach them. And I can't teach you properly unless you have this thing that took me weeks and months, even years to put together. And I'm going to let you have it for a special price. This is a $100 thing. It has in it 10,385 verses on prophecy. It has the book of Revelation, the book of Daniel, all there verse by verse. Anything you can imagine is in here. Take a look, please, at the promo right now. Presenting the third edition of the Jack Vanopy Prophecy Bible, this beautiful burgundy leather-bound edition has been created exclusively for the friends of Jack Vanopy Ministries. Dr. Vanopy has highlighted all 10,385 prophetic verses and coded each passage in the margins so you'll know at a glance the event to which the prophecy refers. The Jack Vanopy Prophecy Bible King James Version features the words of Christ in red and includes the program Dr. Vanopy used to categorize and memorize over 15,000 verses of Scripture. Also contained in the pages of this outstanding third edition are three books by Dr. Vanopy, Your Future, an A to Z Index to Prophecy, Revelation Revealed Verse by Verse, and Daniel Final End Time Mysteries Unsealed, also verse by verse. This special Bible would make a great gift for any occasion. Oh, let me emphasize once again, make the call or write. We'll get this wonderful prophecy Bible in the mail to you as soon as we hear from you. And uh, all those questions that you have certainly will be answered in here because Jack takes the Bible and then explains so many things uh, in many of the areas where there are questions that you might have answered. Oh, questions? Oh, like I said, we have, get them all the time. And um, someone said the other day, Rick Sala, there's a song that you sang that I wish you'd do again. And on this program especially, I would like to do that song for you because it answers a lot of questions. Mm -hmm. You know, has anyone told you that God loves you? That's a question. Has anyone showed you that he died for you coming? It's all in this song. So I'm going to repeat that song, and I trust that it will bless your heart talking about the Lord.
The whole message of salvation is in there, and how wonderful it is that uh, the answer to our problems are found only in the Lord. Every answer, his first coming, his second coming, all of it is found in the Lord. I trust it blessed your heart. But uh, Jack, I, I do want to say this to our audience right now. We are not going to be leaving you, but we're going to be expanding in one way. Instead of being on just every single week, we are going to be going into specials. We're going to be elaborating on it. And the first one, I think I mentioned already, will be Awake America 2020. And certainly that's what we need to do. Um, Wake America 2020. Jack, our country is asleep. We're going to do uh, a good special on that very, very soon. Oh, we? yeah. And we're going to get every station in the world, if possible, to be behind it. And that means we will reach every human being alive. Get with us on this. We need to know what our Bible teaches. I just been with a group. And they teach that if you commit a single sin, you will burn in hell forever. But then you know what? They also teach, and I'm going to deal with this in the first special coming up. You're going to hear it. Awake America. If you kill Christians by the thousands, you will get 72 virgins to make sex in heaven, a whorehouse of God's holy city. God forgive that kind of teaching, and God put those kind of denominations out of business. I'm going to deal with every denomination and what they're teaching in the next year. But you need my Bible to back it. You know, Jack, the Bible is, is so, so important today. Yeah. And for that young girl, oh, I, I loved her. She said, I've never read the Bible. Reared in a Christian home, but never read the Bible. The one thing that, too, our program is going to try in the, rather the, uh, the specials are going to try and do around the world is to express that although we're living in the last days, it's not too late to accept Christ as Savior. I'm happy that you're tuning in right now. Maybe you've been watching us and watching us and watching us, but have you ever really personally accepted Christ as your Savior? Not just going to church, 
but asking Christ to forgive you, to come into your heart, be your personal Savior, walk with you every day, help you to live for Him, and that when you stand before Him, you'll not have to be ashamed. Jack, I oh, want to thank you for that invitation you give every me week. in on that. In the next couple years, as long as God gives me time, I am going to preach the world for Christ crusade. The whole world for Christ. Can it happen? When we're with Jesus, it says, every knee shall bow, every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord of all. <laughs> you want your loved ones saved? You want to see scores? You want to see old-fashioned revival? You want to see the Holy Ghost move? You're going to see it because I'm going to give it everything I've got till my last breath. And in the new year, I'll be going into my 90th year. And I'm going to give it everything I have until I take that last breath here. The world for Christ crusade, Rexella. Amen. You know, Jack, I'm sitting here and I'm thinking, my, how the Lord has brought him back. From death's door, you well remember. It's wonderful to know that he's given him the zeal, the strength, the opportunity now uh, to go around the world yes, and give the so gospel how great. But, yes, oh, I know, his heart is so moved. I was in a coma 80 days and 18 weeks at home, and this little girl sat by my bedside, and the doctor said, you're alive because of Rexilla. Oh. She sat there five hours daily praying for you. Oh, <laughs> Thanks, my. Oh, Jack. Thanks, honey. That's where I wanted to be, and that's where God wanted me to be. And praise the Lord, he brought Jack back. And thank Jack God back. for you. I'm and alive. I just, I just want to say, Jack, the reason that we're on, even right now, is to ask everyone out there. We do this, we've done this every single week for many, many years. For you to pray the prayer of accepting Christ. Have you done it personally? Have you accepted him, been forgiven, oh, of your sins? And have you been walking with the Lord? Please pray this prayer with Jack as he asks Christ to be your Savior, Jack. Just this word, a Jewish doctor that put my body back together from the cancer and everything else and heart attack and a pacemaker said, I told Rexella you would never preach again. Impossible. Your body was gone. You were finished. And yesterday I turned on that set and you were preaching. And I, as a Jew, asked Jesus to save me. Oh, you're going to see revival. The world for Christ's crusade. It's going to affect Judaism and the whole world. Every group. Well, Jack, pray that prayer right now. There are people watching and they're saying, oh, yes, I want the Lord in my life. I want to walk with him. Jack, would you please? Heavenly Father, you said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man can come to the Father but by me, Jesus. No man, no man, no woman. So pray it, Lord Jesus. I believe what you said. You're the way, and I want you. What you did for that Jewish doctor that day, because of Brother Van Abbey's story, because of the way he's moving my heart tonight, Jesus, come into my heart. I accept you as my personal Savior, man or woman, and he'll do it if you mean it. Amen. Amen. Oh, I say it every single week. I have been. And I'm going to say it on the specials, too, that uh, if you write to me, I'll be sending you this first steps in a new direction because we are going to be giving the invitation around the world when we do those specials. So first steps in a new direction will be in the mail as soon as I hear from you. Our mailing address is Jack Benibby Ministries, Box 7004, Troy, Michigan, 48007. Remember to ask for your free copy of the booklet, First Steps, when you write. You'll be glad you did. And now, how wonderful it is that we have this offer, the Jack Benippi Prophecy Bible. And I'm going to ask our announcer to come right now and tell you how you can receive it. Chuck? Thank you, Rexella. 
my friend, to order the Jack Van Epi Prophecy Bible. And oh, what a must for your library. Have your credit card ready and call toll-free 24 hours a day, 1-800-JVI-7777. To order by mail in the U.S., send your donation of $59.95 to Jack Van Epi Ministries, Box 7004, Troy, Michigan 48007. In Canada, send your donation of $59.95 to Jack Van Epi Ministries of Canada, Box 1717, Postal Station A, Windsor, Ontario, NINA6Y1. Now here's Rexella. Thank you so much, Chuck, and I just want to encourage you, make the call or write. This is an important offer you need to have in your home. You know, friends, it's just been such a joy to be with you week after week. As I said, we're not leaving you. We're just enlarging, actually, because the Lord has laid upon Jack's heart to do specials and elaborate on some things that really need a long explanation. And so we are asking the Lord for the world for Christ. Amen. The world Michelle. for Christ. And you can join it. Give us your name and you get in our mailing list and you get all the things oh, as yes. part of the members of the world for Christ crusade. Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> How wonderful it is, Jack, that we can go around Amen. the world. Oh my, we praise God so much. And you know, I, I want to add this before I give you my last thought. Uh, if you have questions, please write to us. We'd love to answer those questions. We'll give you Bible uh, answers, and uh, we want to be with you on that level Any also. Questions? Let Any me just questions? say that this is a wonderful, wonderful closing thought. Live today, yes, as if you will stand before God tomorrow. We don't know exactly when the Lord is coming and how we need to be living for Him, walking with Him, telling others about Him, reading His Word, and living His Word day by day. And so do write to us. We'd love to hear from you. God bless you. And uh, like I say, live today as if we stand before the Lord tomorrow. And always remember, God cares for you. And so do we, Amen. so very, very much. And we will look forward to seeing you on the specials that we will be making about topics. The first one, Awake America 2020. God bless you as you walk with him every single day. God bless. The preceding program was sponsored by the partners of Jack Vanapie Ministries.